The Nexus 6P is the best pure Android device, period. It might even be the best Android phone out right now. When the Nexus program was announced, it wasn't really about the hardware. It was a reference device and a vehicle for the newest OS. But over time, this has changed. Every version of the Nexus has become more and more premium until we landed where we did today. This is the most premium Nexus that we've seen to date. Some time has went by since the Nexus 6P came out. And some new containers are knocking at the door like the S7 and G5. So let's answer this question. Is the Nexus 6P still worth it? Well, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. Now let's find out. Tech Ninja gonna break the mold. Brand state control. Scopes more than the case is closed. Real talk with a hell of a brand. Every word is unfilled. The genuine dread. The Nexus 6P right now is still my daily driver, being able to complete all tasks that I toss at it with ease. It has front-facing speakers, a solid battery, a nice large Quad HD display, and a very good and accurate camera. If you're looking for detailed specs, then make sure you check out my original review linked down below. I've used Nexus devices since the Nexus 4, and all the time that I got a Nexus, I was using it for software, not really the hardware. There has always been a huge compromise with the Nexus device, even the first six. The 6P, I'd say, is the first Nexus that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any phone on the planet. And some may argue it's not the prettiest phone around, so you do have options to change that thing up a bit. I mean, you can toss on a D-brand skin. There are a ton of colors and styles you can choose from, but I think the copper just looks amazing. Also use it with a case as well. This is the subcase. Now the subcase isn't really a looker, but it gets the job done. It's a very solid case and it's sturdy without being overly bulky. And also the buttons do have a nice press as well. Now during this video, you are going to see the device in the case most of the time, just because that's really how I use this device. I also have a screen protector on here and it's terrible. So I won't even give the brand any credit at all. So yeah. And links to both things are located down below and also that wallpaper. The Nexus 6P has the latest version of Android and it will be upgraded to at least the next version. With many phones from big companies like Samsung and LG, it's a good chance you may be stuck on that OS. Well, the Nexus has the hardware and if software is important to you, the Nexus device is probably gonna be your best bet. On the camera side of things, the Nexus 6P is still great. It uses larger pixels, which means it's better in low light. I also think the color reduplication is spot on compared to Samsung's ISOCELL camera. It shoots video in 4K and also does slow motion. The camera software isn't the best, but you can still get some amazing photos out of the 6P in most conditions. Performance is also snappy on a 6P too. The chip that it's using isn't the newest one out there, but it's plenty enough to run Android software and games. Comparing this to my Note 5, they run pretty much the same, and since there's a skin on the Note 5, sometimes it gets in the way, so I'll say the Nexus 6P is faster in all real-world performance. Regardless, the 6P is still worth it, even after a few months later. With the newest version of Android coming this summer, that's when we'll start to look for Samsung with some updates while Nexus users are flashing this on their device. If that's important to you, then look no further than the Nexus 6P. I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. The links are down below. And have yourself a great day, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Tell a friend to tell a friend that it's him and yo real talk opinions gonna be sharp in 4K scope squad eat it up sim it and saute ninja got reviews and brands galore you ain't never seen a channel like this before no hashtag crispy around this runway utter out your mouth that you started with gunplay.